All right. This is getting serious, boys. A overclock tutorial by yours truly. If you think you're missing inputs like crazy, you're not alone. Your adapter might suck. Or the driver. So we're gonna do this real quick. Uh, the driver HID USBF and it's associated to developed by Sweet Low allowed you allow you to overclock the polling of your GameCube controller to USB adapter by your PC to a thousand hearts. By default, the PC pulsed it at 125 hearts every eight milliseconds. This should reduce. This should result in a much closer experience to console play. That's what I want. All PC melee players should overclock their adapter and follow the port-related advice as to have the best possible experience adapter overclocking. Have your GameCube to USB adapter plugged in for this process. Make sure you don't have Dolphin or Sleepy open. Good thing I don't have them open. Okay, uh, head to this. All right, let's click, clickety click. I'm gonna go to code, download zip. Download zip, okay. Here it is, explore? No, we're gonna extract, extract all. Good. And there it is. Okay. So I have it open. Two compressed folders. Extract the... Um, hit his biff. <laughs> hit USBF, that one. And so I'm going to extract this one. Extract all. Okay. We're doing this, boys. I'm tired of losing. <laughs> Not that this will make me better. Uh, okay, you should find two compressed folders. Okay, extract that folder. It should look like this, not like this. So basically, have the files ready. Wait, this is not driver? Okay, there it is. Okay. Yeah, driver. Okay. Follow the path that's indicated in the image. Right click setup.exe. Select run as administrator. Oh boy. Right? Setup.exe. Yep. Oh boy. Hope I don't get computer aids. Okay. Click in. Okay, hold on, hold on. Run as administrator. Okay, it's done. Click install service. Okay. Open. This service installation is unrelated to what device you currently have selected. You only need to do it once. Don't worry over the devices listed on your screen, different, differing from that of the example image. Open the file when asked to do so. Some people aren't. Just go on. Select all in the device drop-down menu. All. Okay. Select whoop. Zero to eight. Boop. Okay. Uh, then toggle filter on device. Okay, there you go. Uh, then choose 1000. Okay. Hit, click restart. It restarts device communication, not your computer. Okay. You should see by interval set to one. Okay. Start slippy. Okay. Open controls panel. Configure. Oh, very nice. Okay. Ooh, honestly, it feels a lot like I'm playing on console. Oh my god. Okay, okay. This might be placebo. I'm not denying that. No, this feels awesome. I feel like I can move. Yeah, I feel, I feel great. This feels great, night and day. I don't feel like it's a sluggish controller anymore. This is recommended 100,000%. That's okay. Controller feels great though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the things that I want to do are actually happening. And part of the reason why I'm stopping myself from speaking better about this change is that I remember saying this exact same thing when I got the fob. But now it's even cleaner somehow. So, 
It's fine if I lost that jigs. I'm honestly just happy I'm able to move. Like, I literally just played this guy and he bodied me. And I, and I four-stock him? Are you serious? Bro.